Hello everyone, it's Tony and Sage Robbins from Our Home and Hearts to Yours. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Kwanzaa uh, to just all of you out there. It's just this beautiful platform and uh, virtual reality that we can all connect in such a meaningful way. We just wanted to say that um, we're grateful for you. Thank you for joining us in all the ways that you do. Uh, thank you for sharing your hearts in this wonderful world of ours. This world needs more light. <laughs> and we all have a blessing to magnify that and share that. And we just wanted to say um, that we're grateful and thank you for walking this path with us. And whatever your holiday is, uh, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in stress during these holidays. And with normally holidays, people create a lot of stress, just travel and figuring things out and trying to make everything perfect. And now we got COVID variants and restrictions yes. and travel concerns and all those pieces. But it's good to remember we have a choice. Yes. And the choice is we can consciously wake up to the fact that there's so much to be grateful for, even in the most mm. difficult times. And I hope that in the midst of this holiday, we hope in the yes. middle of this holiday, you'll take a little bit of time and think about all the beautiful things in your life. Because while COVID has disrupted so much and our reactions to it as well, we still have so much beauty available. There are people that you love or that love you. You have a certain level of health in your life, certain level of choice. And I think the holidays are supposed to be a time to be grateful. Mm. And the great thing about gratitude is it, it wipes out the two things that mess our lives up. Um, and that's fear and anger. Mm. When you're grateful, you're not fearful. And yes. when you're grateful, you're not angry. <laughs> and in a world that's so charged politically and personally in so many different ways, maybe it's time to come back to taking the holidays in for what they're about, which is being grateful and then giving from your heart. Yes. And we hope that that's something you'll do. And we just wanted to share with you briefly, real quick, a little four-step process of what we do every year that might be helpful for you to maximize that joy. And even in the tough times, I don't know what COVID's been like for you, but a lot of people, it's torn their business and life apart in so many ways, and yet they did have more time with their family. Or mm. maybe you took advantage of this time and really took care of your health. Or if you didn't, maybe it's time to make some new choices. So here's what we do every year. Number one, it's such a simple process. One, we take all our pictures from the year. So whether you're on Google or Apple or whatever you do, we just take about half an hour, 45 mm -hmm. minutes to an hour, and we all sit around together and we go through each of our phones or our, wherever you store yours, and we just scan through and then we highlight, we've done it already, a lot of them, but our favorite pictures. <laughs> and then by the end of half an hour, we throw them together in a beautiful slideshow. It's so easy with technology today. And then step two is we pick our favorite music. Yeah, we do. And just about the photos, uh, number one, we usually have music playing during this time That's and true. candles, and it just feels festive and it's celebratory because it's amazing in life. Uh, with a life so full in so many ways and uh, you know with family and children and businesses and all the different dynamics and things pulling on us uh, Many times we can forget just the simple moments of grace and the beauty of life And what I love is we'll be sitting there and it's like oh my gosh Did you remember this moment or I forgot <laughs> things this moment? Laugh or things yeah, cry. It's just it, it's really a beautiful time of reflection for us of sharing of magnification of the, the magic in our lives and uh, you know we're listening to music during this time usually holiday music uh, but you know as we're selecting all these photos we look to find uh, music that just uh, represents the experience that represents the spirit of it that represents the heart of it and uh, gosh we have you know uh, with a gift of Pandora or Spotify and all these different streaming uh, music in our lives you know we have music in our life literally almost 24 hours a day and it creates a beautiful atmosphere and uh, and as well there's just a harmony to that and so for us we you know besides the photos we really look to underscore that with music that yeah. just creates a magnification of the beauty and the magic and a lot of times there's so much of tension pulling us out here uh, to the external world nice to come back to your uh, yes it's nice to come back to our center and to come back to our families to come back to what's uh, blessed because no matter what's happening in the external world uh, life is such a blessing and for us it's some of my most favorite cherished moments for us as a family and how we you know all come together usually we're sitting around the table we might be in in the living room and uh, it's intimate it's dear it's it's tender we cry we laugh <laughs> and uh, it's just a really meaningful time and there's never time coming to the holidays that I'm not looking forward to those moments that we share together 
and beautiful thing is the picture's worth a thousand words, right? Yes. So you pick some of your favorites and they'll trigger you. And when it's done, we have these for the last 12 years to give you an idea. So it's like, so there are times in yes. the middle of the year where if you're feeling really stressed out because there's all this stuff going on, we'll go, let's watch one of our slideshows. <laughs> or we've been at times we did like a five-year slideshow piece. Mm -hmm. We just watch five years in a row and you just see all the beauty of life that so often when you're going so fast and so hard, you miss. Yeah. So once you build that slideshow, then the third step that we do is we capture magic moments and accomplishments, personal and professional. We all do them individually, hanging mm -hmm. around while the music's there. We just brainstorm and we look month by month. Like what happened in January? What do we remember from January? And the pictures are a good reminder and a good trigger. And you'll start saying, oh my God, I forgot about that yeah. moment. And they could be little moments, just little stuff that made you laugh. They could be big moments. Our daughter being born is a pretty big one for us <laughs> this year. But there's all these special, crazy little moments. And so you write the moments down because in life, you're not going to remember it all. You're going to remember certain moments. And why not capture them while they're fresh? And then it'll allow you to change the color of the year, so to speak. But not only what moments, but what did you accomplish? What did you learn? What were you grateful for? What were the moment, loving moments? And we just brainstorm them all. And then we sit around and we share them and we record that. So that we not only have the slideshow and the music, but we have all these triggers that are so beautiful because there's something about the way the human mind works. You know, we have a, a two million year old brain and it's designed to make you survive. It's not designed to make you happy. Mm -hmm. So it's always looking for what's wrong. And so as a result, or what to protect ourselves from. This gives you freedom from all that. And it, you know, you can go to a concert and there's two different ways of experiencing a concert. There's what you experience and it's what you remember. And a lot of people, the experiencing self has a great time in the concert, but somebody drops some dishes. Some people's memory of the concert was that memory. Oh, it was such a horrible concert. The human mind tends to slice and dice, but the human heart expands by remembering those moments. Mm -hmm. So please capture them. And then the final step four is really simple. We sit down and brainstorm, what do we want to accomplish in the next year? What are moments we want to create together as a family? We take little things that we want to do, big things we want to do, so that you're creating a compelling future. No matter how stressful the outside world is, this inside world can be incredibly rich. Yes. And so we want to give you one final gift as well, which is you know, the last two years, when people have been stuck at home in COVID, we sat around and talked and said, so many people need help right now. What do we do? And so we did a free seminar in mm. both years, and we're going to do one now for this year, 2022, to be your one chance to participate. Mm. It's coming up on January 25th. It's a Tuesday, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific. But mm. we have people, we had 800,000 people from literally all over the world yeah. in more than 100 countries that participate. And you become part of a community, and there's no charge. So number one, you don't have to travel. And number two, there's no charge for it. It's not partially free, it's completely free. And if you want to attend and be part of it, it's five days in a row, about 90 minutes each. We're bringing in some of our dear friends we're gonna show you the best strategies we have for turning around your business or your career or what to do with your body, your emotions, your relationships, yes. the areas of life that matter most and create some new momentum for you. Because look, in 2020, we we're all shocked. You know, 15 days to flatten the curve and here we are two years later, right? In 2021, I think people thought it was all gonna just go back to normal. Well, the world's changed. So have you found the new you for this new world? Mm. If not, we'd love to support you. So just go to our link below. It's, it's really about breakthroughs. What's the breakthroughs you're gonna create in 2022, regardless of the environment? And if you go to breakthrough2022.com, uh, and register. Again, there's no charge for it. We'll bring you there. And if you want to bring family or friends, yes. I mean, you saw what the families that we got to see because you get to see you on screen was pretty amazing. It, it really is. It's a it's a beloved week for us. And during the comeback challenge, just just like even right now, the difference is, is you know, we can relate and we can connect. And there's this collective, just that force, that collective intention that all of us are here to grow, to be our best selves, to set, you know, um, to write a new reality for our experience yeah. of life. And that's really what this week is about. And as Tony mentioned, it is our gift to you. And uh, it touches on many topics. Uh, and we really hope that, uh, and our prayer is that you will indeed accept the invitation and join us. As you can hear, our little one is in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling to us, um, so we're gonna say goodbye. But click on Breakthrough2022.com and join us. And think about who you wanna bring. Do you want your family to join you? You can do it in your home, or you can do it in your office with some friends, or you can do it by yourself. But we'd love to serve you 90 minutes a day, five days in a row, total momentum. Yes. Start your new year off right, and we'd love to serve you. And hopefully you'll do this little process. Do your little slideshow, your music, capture the beauty of this year, set yourself up for next year, and then join us on Tuesday the 25th to start the process of making 2022 the best year ever. We hope you have a magnificent holiday. We send love to you and your family and blessings to you all.
Yes, happy holidays, as Tony mentioned, just looking forward to seeing you all in the new year. And until then, have a beautiful, beautiful time with your families. Uh, know that uh, your light, your love, your kindness, your presence uh, makes a difference. Yes. And, and you know, if you're wondering what to buy for the holidays, know that that gift is enough. So anyways, take care. We love you. God bless. Take care.